Hi, I'm Jeff with ArmadillaPepper.com. Today I'm going to grill some flat iron steaks and make some tacos with the citrus salsa and creamy guacamole sauce. Now the first thing I'm going to do is season these flat iron steaks. So I've got just a little Sang's oil. You could use olive oil. You could even use vegetable oil. I'm just going to use this as a binder to help, help keep this uh, rub that I'm going to put on here. And what I'm using today is this Suckle Busters um, steak rub. Now I specifically chose this rub uh, because it's uh, obviously it's got salt like all steak rubs do, steak rubs, but it's got chili pepper and cumin. And you can really taste uh, the chili peppers and the cumin in this rub, which is going to be just perfect for these tacos. Now if you don't want to go out and get yourself some Suckle Busters steak rub, get one of your favorite steak rubs. Um, of course you could make your own or you could just go as easy or as simple as using kosher salt. Uh, what we're trying to do here is two things. Uh, one, the salt will help dry brine this and make it a little bit more tender and we're also looking to add some flavor. And I'm just going to put these guys in a bowl, cover them up, and let them sit in the refrigerator five or six hours. You could even let them sit overnight. All right, let's get this citrus salsa going. I've got about a half a cup to two-thirds of orange diced up. I've got about a quarter cup of grapefruit. About a half a teaspoon of orange zest. Got about a half a cup of jicama. I don't know if I got a big enough bowl, eh? And then we have three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. I've got a couple of tablespoons of cilantro and a half of a jalapeno. Now, if this were me, I'd put a whole jalapeno in here, but my son just doesn't care for them that much. And then here what I've got is a quarter cup of red onion. So I'm just going to get this all mixed up and then we'll move on to our avocado sauce. Now for this creamy avocado sauce, I took three avocados, obviously peeled them, and then took a, a mashed potato masher, mashed the uh, avocados all up. I've got two tablespoons here of sour cream. And we're just going to blend this in all good. All together. I'm also going to put maybe a quarter to half a teaspoon of salt and we'll do the same for some black pepper. And let me just get this all stirred together and then we'll switch back over to these flat iron steaks. Our flat iron steaks been sitting with our uh, Suckle Buster steak seasoning on them for about six hours. I'm just going to touch these guys up and then we're going to get them on the grill. Right, we really got this grill hot. We want to cook these hot and quick. Okay, it only takes like five minutes to cook these guys. What you're going to do is cut them across. And I like to cut them in really thin slices. And then once we've got them cut across, we're going to cut them again um, at 90 degrees to put them on these taco shells. All right, let's build up one of these tacos. I've been waiting so long. Okay, just going to put a little of this flat iron steak on here, okay, and then that citrus salsa that we made, let's put a little, and then that creamy 
guacamole. <laughs> oh man. Mmm. I'm telling you. That steak is so tender. There is flavor everywhere all over this taco. Oh, this taco is awesome. Mmm. You can taste that creamy avocado and all that citrus is going on with the beef. It's incredible. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of ArmadillaPepper.com. My name is Jeff. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment.